Hi everyone. Today we are going to discuss a leased line wide area network or leased line WAN. So a WAN is a wide area network which spans a large geographical area of a country or continent. We can also define a wide area network as a computer network created within an area having a radius of more than 100 kilometers. So for instance, there is an organization who has an office in Australia and the same organization has an office in Canada as well. Now, if that organization wants to connect these two offices with each other, which are actually 14,000 kilometers uh, away from each other, it means they are really, really far away from each other. And if that organization wants to connect these two offices, then one option is that this office purchases all the infrastructure, it means all the cables and install that cable from Australia to Canada. But as you can imagine, this will be very much expensive for the organization. Then what happens? This organization, instead of purchasing the cable by, by itself, it can hire the services from someone some, somewhere else and can establish a WAN link or wide area network link. So in this case, WAN uses services from, from some other service providers like telephone networks. So it, like telephone networks or the cable networks are there which provide the WAN link or wide area network link to establish the connection between these two offices. Now, Lease line specifically, lease line when is a when created using lease lines. What are lease lines? Lease line is actually a private connection for transmission and that connection is available through payment. So the term lease means the users pay monthly or yearly fees to the owner of the cables or the service provider. And this connection is speed as well as the availability of 24-7 are part of the leased agreement. And these lease lines work in full duplex mode. It means the organizations can transmit as well as receive at the same time. And these lease lines, in their simplest term, they have two pairs of wires, one pair for transmission and one pair for reception. So, uh, uh, as it, this lease line is not just a single cable from one organization to the other organization, but this lease line is mostly a large and complex network. And this network is made of multiple segments of cables and switching devices. So this, this, this multiple segments and, and switching devices are operated by the service provider. For instance, the service provider may be a telephone company, a telco. And from the office in Australia to the office in Canada, there may be multiple telco offices run by the telephone company. So see, uh, for illustration, these are different telco offices in between the office from Australia to Canada. And these telco central offices has equipment like switches and other supporting equipment to support the communication link between these two points or between these two offices. For illustration purpose, I have taken this this uh, this picture from the website which is just mentioned there. You can also go through this link. So here in this picture, they show that how the world is connected, how the countries of the world are connected with each other by using submarine cables. So this is one of the uh, way to, to connect the world. So submarine cables are shown. You can see different countries, for example, these are different countries which are connected with each other using these submarine cables, and these are the points. Now, the least line between sides maybe a satellite link. So this is also possible to connect these two organizations using the satellite link. So in this case, there will be a satellite link between two, two points. And satellite link is actually a path 
where signal travels in the form of radio waves. And the least line, uh, least line link between the sides may also be a fiber optics link. And as you know, in fiber optics, the path is, is, is a path which carries the information in the form of light pulses. It means light travels which carries our information from one organization to other organization. And based on the characteristics, these lines are referred by different names as well. So, the least lines are also known as least circuit. So, least line carries data in the form of electric current. So, because of this property, the least lines are also known as least circuit. See, the data travels in the form of electric current. Second name is point-to-point -point link. So the least lines carries data between two endpoints. So because of that, these least lines are also known as point-to-point -point link or point-to-point -point line. So here, these are two endpoints and these two endpoints are connected with each other. Because of that, we call it point-to-point -point link. Least lines are also called serial link on the property that least line carries data serially. Serially means the data travels bit by bit. In some of the connections, for instance, the data multiple bits may be transmitted simultaneously at the same time. But in serial link, data travels, for instance, data travels bit by bit from source to destination. So not multiple bits are transmitted only bit by bit transmission is taking place in serial link. And these least lines are also sometimes called T1 connections. T1 connections are actually uh, uh, the, the type of uh, uses um, old uh, telephone connections to carry more data. And it has a data speed of 1.544 megabits per second. It means C1 connection is also a telephone connection, but it offers more uh, data rate to, to the customers. And the least lines are also sometimes known as private lines because least line carries data as private data. It means no one else, no one else will have access to the data which is owned by some specific organization. And the last one, the very general name that least lines are also known as when link and are only link. So these are the this is the general term that can be applied to all of the all of the names just be discussed. And so these with these different names for the least line, this is the end for today's video. And thank you, thank you very much for your for your time.